Hi guys, I am just waking up and it's 9am and I'm very tired. But um what well, but the like the hours went forward last night so actually it's like 8 a.m. Um I just yeah, just basically waking up and I'm going to like film a vlog slash a what I eat in a day situation. And the first thing that's gonna happen is we make the bed because it's like symbolic of your mental state and i'm gonna say that actually it's atm even though it's not i mean that is gonna affect me psychologically whatever it's fine i'm very tired okay so the bed is done and now we go get some water go brush our teeth put on some gym clothes and maybe do a little bit of work before going downstairs to the gymnasium which I think I'm going to do before like 12 today because yeah Just... Charles. okay so I have gotten ready ish and just like put on my gym clothes I'm working on my abs right now because I want to have abs basically I think they're going quite well considering I haven't like considering yeah like I ate a lot yesterday as well so I think they look pretty cool I'm gonna do this like abs challenge which you guys know about but you know like it's gonna be cool because I can get like a six pack going um and then I'm just gonna um work on my essay and drink some green tea and water. Green tea because there's no peppermint tea, which is very sad because I prefer peppermint tea. And then at around, so it's like 9.44, 8.44, um, I'm gonna work for like an hour and a bit and then go to the gym. First, we have to choose which jumper I'm gonna wear. So I take you to my jumper abode. Um, because the jumper is the only different thing that changes a lot, like, in my outfits. Uh, it has to be kind of long, because, uh, mum doesn't actually like these legging trousers, because they show my ass off, and she doesn't like that. She doesn't like that very much. I can wear this one, I think. So, it says le monde l'amour nous unit which is love unites us which i think you know it's quite a lovely message at this like horrible time anyway um cool i'm gonna put that on and then i'm going to work okay so i'm gonna make a list of things to do today because um it's not that I need like a list, but I need to know like the timings because otherwise I kind of mess around and don't do what I'm supposed to do. And I just like cut my nails and got my do and my water and it's now like five to ten. Five to nine. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna work from ten to eleven. Actually fucking work. And then eleven till 12 gym and I'm gonna do like okay so it's now like 11 23 so I'm behind schedule but I was trying to work and this essay is just a bit of a bitch because I really enjoyed reading the readings but I just I just don't know what I want to say ah and it's like it has to be quite concise but it's like so complicated and I just don't know where to begin this is my problem so I've been trying to just write um I've been trying to write the introduction in the first paragraph. I think I'm just gonna go right into it when I come back because I basically have come up with nil 
I'm sure like my brain is like working and I'm bathing. Anyway, I'm gonna go and work out because yeah. Bye. I did a kilometer in a bit and I was jamming to Beyonce's who run the world girls. It was great. Okay, so we're gonna do like two ab workouts and then a hip workout and then maybe like a leg when we come on so we'll do like that one. And um, the first one is just gonna be, the first ab workout is just gonna be the one that I really like doing. And the second one is going to be the like two week challenge that Ellis and I are gonna be doing. And George probably. And I'm gonna do it And um, yeah, okay wait, let's actually do like a little like ads with four ads on. By the way, I'm in like the mystery room. Okay, this is, I have like, yeah, that wasn't very hot. Um, and then I think I'm going to the situation. I haven't actually seen any food today, but like, I think I'm going to do the Okay, without further ado, we begin the workout, and I will do like a, look at the time now. Okay, bye. Guys, that um, that like that was a bitch. The the Pamela Reef workout, I can. It was very 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 difficult, and I didn't do it properly. I do think, but wow, that was intense. Um, Okay, well, I made breakfast, which looks like these, and I made my coffee, which looks like these, and I bought some more tea and water upstairs, and I made some for me mum, because, you know, I'm nice, and it's, I think it's like, I think it's like half one, so I'm half an hour behind, but it's fine, and I'm gonna, I forgot to order the capsules actually, so I have to do that, I'm gonna taste my coffee. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah. Do you love it? I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and now, oh, and I'm also I'm wearing a dress today because I was like, may as well, like, actually feel like it's a Sunday. Not that I, you know. I
Okay, well, Dad just came in and as this is, this is what usually happens, Dad will come in and like after he's gotten ready, which today the timing is atrocious, so I literally sat down with him and was like, this is not good enough. Ellis, don't worry, I was like, but, I mean, Ellis would say that it's fine. He basically ended up watching two movies last night and then he fell asleep pretty late. Whatever, it's fine. But anyway, he came in and he told me about the films that he watched, which he can never remember the names of, but here is the little insert. And then, um, I'm gonna keep working. So work is going so well. I'm joking, it's very much not. It's like now 2.30 and truth be told, my dad just kept coming in and saying things to me and um, I have been watching the videos I've been filming today. Studio time lets me work you can actually have to work. Okay, so I basically had like a eureka moment where um, I like got my, like basically the gist of my argument, so this is great. And now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat my yogurt and um, play my Nintendo because, you know, I it's, it's on the list of things to do. It's actually like 2.55, so it's, it's very early and yeah, I, the thing is, is I think that although I didn't do like that much work, I was I was working in my brain because I've come to my conclude like my argument ish, which is basically that the essence of the question is what is moral ignorance, and can it excuse the, and so I'm going to say that it can in some cases excuse uh, actions, um, if it is a case of genuine false beliefs, uh, then you are you can be morally excused because if you are actually morally ignorant about something then why should you like if you're genuine the whole point is genuinely anyway from there i'm going to establish that and then i'm going to say well then the question is are individuals who participate in wrongfully in morally wrong institutionalized practices are they genuinely morally ignorant and then i'm going to offer this um objective and subjective reading where from an objective standpoint being as we are now we can see that they are very much ignorant but on a subjective reading um are they actually ignorant and i think that the two have to come together in order to establish um moral ignorance like you have to bring in the subjective with the objective because objectively obviously you're going to be like well they can't have been morally ignorant because like, duh, for example, savory is ridiculously wrong and you can just see that. But only if you can see it or make it plausible that you could see it from a subjective reading. And obviously, like, that's the whole point that you're going to argue, is it plausible, is it not? Some people say it is plausible, some people say it isn't. But I'm going to argue whichever one I think, which I don't actually know yet. But the whole point is, is that it has to, the two have to join together in order uh, for moral ignorance to be established or not, you know, conversely the other way. So yeah, that's my argument and I'm very happy that I have it now because now everything should be easy. Yeah, ooh, great. I spilled some. That's very bad. Mum will be very unhappy. I think it is just like the yogurt, the juices. You can't see anything, it's fine. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna play my, my Nintendo and eat my yogurt. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I did my introduction and stuff and I've gotten changed into me pajamas. Well, not pajamas, I don't sleep in this, but like like comfy clothes that are also PJs. And then I'm gonna go downstairs and make my food. And mum already put the potatoes in the oven, so yes. Go and make the chicken and the veg and then we eat.
guys, I just finished eating <clears throat> and it was delicious and I was watching um, How Make Mother and it's the episode after they do the uh, like, it's always darker before the dawn, you know, that song situation. Anyway, um, I FaceTimed my cousin's sister Safia while I was eating because I didn't answer her phone calls today because I had to work and I just kept eating the potatoes that mum made me like literally I've gotten through a ridiculous amount of them but my dad came and had some too so it's fine and it's fine I haven't eaten anything except the yogurt today anyway um and then maybe in a little while I'm gonna have some dark chocolate did you know that dark chocolate has caffeine in it because I didn't I don't think it's that relevant but Safia went on about it when I was talking to her Saf if you're watching this I'm letting them know because I told her to watch this okay Anyway, lots of love. I should stop eating these. They're just too good. I think I've eaten a lot of potatoes at this point. I mean, I'm still gonna, no, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Okay, but. Okie dokie, so it's like, um, let me check. It's quarter past seven and I've eaten and I'm in my pajamas. I was thinking of straightening my hair. But I decided that I will leave it because um, it's kind of a good opportunity to like not like play with my hair all the time because I'm, um, you know, it's not good for it. Um, and I'm probably going to sit and do like finalize my argument a bit over here. Although this looks really messy right now because I left the window open. This was from when I went for a pilgrimage with my grandma okay anyway and then i'm gonna just basically do that for a little bit like maybe half an hour i'm gonna brush my teeth so i feel a bit bleh but i'm gonna have some dark chocolate later because i got some oh yeah i should show you my chocolate drawer so basically i have a chocolate drawer in here it's very exciting so it has all the best chocolates in it it has green and black 85 because that is the best and then this was all they had, the 90%, which is actually okay. Like, it's kind of good because you only have a little bit and then you're done. Ellis, you know this, you know, I'm steadily... Like, it's strange because with the co-op ones, I need, um like, all of the packets to satisfy me. But with the M&S ones, I just have, like, two strips at most, or one strip, and I'm very good. Um. Anyway, so we have a few of those. Then these are my favourite M&S. Like, they're just delicious. They're, like dark chocolate but they have raspberry cranberry and orange chocolate buttons it's so yummy but they're like ridiculously expensive so I need a few. and then Nadine bought me these from Switzerland but I won't really eat them because they're milk chocolate so actually I'll leave them out to give to my dad because he likes that and obviously this is a treasure because a certain somebody got it for me as is this my espresso shot which are just delicious yeah and this is my raspberry intense lint flavor and then these are the chocolates that i got from the winter market and it's um milk chocolate with caramel which would be quite nice white chocolate raspberry i'm really excited to try that i haven't tried these two but i have had this one it's evening star with coffee and it's really really nice um but like this is just classic isn't it so i'm gonna have like one of these and then put these away and green and black's just, I don't like the blockiness of it. I prefer the thinness of that situation. Anyway, I mean, we can't be ones to contain because it is a pretty good, like, it's a pretty good situation. I also will have these at some point, but I don't know why I'm kind of, like, not inclined to have them for some reason. Like, I feel like they're too much, which is silly because they're not. In fact, it's kind of good because it's a package and, like, I can't have more than is basically there. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna put all this away, I'm gonna do what I just said, and then I'll be back before I go to bed, basically. Yeah. I'm gonna watch some TV later as well. I'll let you know. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm watching Friday Night Dinner, and I'm in bed, and I'm all cosy. I'm going to, like, I got an apple. I don't know why, I just felt like I needed an apple with me, because I didn't actually, oh, I had apple in my yogurt, but I haven't had an apple today, and I kind of... I didn't know, I want to eat something, but I'm not hungry. It's very strange, but whatever. And um, I'm going to just basically 
like finish the video i'm gonna watch some more tv and uh eat a little piece of chocolate and have maybe my apple and then go to bed because i want to wake up early tomorrow like early hopefully like seven ish and get my day going because i need to work on this essay yeah um but i hope you enjoyed my first video i had fun making it it's actually it's what i've been doing like in my breaks is editing the video it's quite fun anyway love you all and yeah like comment and subscribe bitches